Good afternoon and welcome to Pollyanna's Parchment Craft. This afternoon I'm embossing a parchment Christmas card for you to embellish with glitter and perforations with extra embossing. I've chosen a simple design so that it's quite quick and easy to do. First things first is we will need to go to a scan and cut canvas Get rid of that. We will go to projects, my projects. Wait for that to download, and there's the Christmas card that we're going to be working with today. We'll click edit on that, which will put it onto a scan and cut canvas. There we are. Let's enlarge it so you can see it a little better. There's a picture and of course we've got the words Happy Christmas underneath and these are written backwards because being parchment craft we're embossing on the back of the parchment and that's why our picture is on the left hand side of the mat not the right hand side as if you're using cardstock. We'll download that. Wait for our download screen. Now I'm using a design and cut, so we do click design and cut transfer. Okay, wait for the screen. And that's done, that's okay, that's fine. Get rid of that. And we go to our design and cut manager, click load data, click load from scan and cut canvas. And for process. And then appear on a design and cut manager. The size you see that it's marked out out on there and the position, and that is where it will be on your parchment. Please select, and we select the second option, which is draw. With all the embossing functions that we use on Pollyanna, is always a draw. The speed is set at 3, the pressure is set at 4, I'm quite happy with that for this picture. We'll click apply. And now we are ready to start. We've already loaded our mat with the parchment on it. We use the universal tool, I call this universal because we've made this tool to work with the design and cut and it will emboss on parchment, on cardstock and on metal into the standard pen holder, lock it down and press start. Always make sure the back of your machine isn't obstructed because the card does go through it. Now there we are, that's finished. We go back now to scan and cut canvas. Now what we want to do now is to block out the whole of the design except for the Happy Christmas. Uh, we will block that, I think that's about it, and delete. But we've still got a few little pieces to get rid of that we didn't delete properly. Remember the whole design is still in your projects. Because we've deleted here, it hasn't deleted it from the projects. There we are, we've now got Happy Christmas written backwards. So we need to go to properties, but we should have highlighted it first to highlight it. And go to properties. And then we go down to the line fill at the bottom. There we go, see it better now. We tick that and we go to the fill box there. We change from transparent to black. That's okay. And hey presto, it's changed to black on our scanner code canvas. We need to download this now back to the designer code manager. Wait for the screen. 
and click design and click transfer. Okay, that's successful. So we click on Design and Cut Manager. Our output is still there. This time, click the top right hand corner and we click again Load from Scan and Cut Canvas. You could have a design that you load from your computer or from a USB stick, but this one from the canvas. And there's our design in black written in reverse. Again, draw function. I can't stipulate that enough. Draw function. We're still on speed three, pressure four click apply and we're ready to click start we're going to emboss in between the lines of happy christmas <laughs> in between the lines of Happy Christmas to produce a heavily embossed design. Now we take it out of the machine, take it off the mat and there's a black mat to show you the finished product. You see how well it has embossed the Happy Christmas but has left the rest of the design for you to finish by hand. You could finish it like this by embossing it further and putting glitter on the roofs and pierce the windows. All our products are available from polyannasparchmentcraft.com. All of this can be done basically the same with your scanning cut, but the design cut is my new toy and I like playing with it. Hope you've enjoyed watching.